Okay guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna make the camera track to a subject in a video. That's probably the best way I can describe it. Um, the other way that I can help you understand what I'm talking about is to actually show you. So this is our original shot here. This is a shot from PUBG, obviously. And uh, let's say we wanna track his head and make the camera move to the movement of his head, right? Um, and you can obviously see the final effect here as well. That's kind of what we're going to be getting. And you also see saw the shot right in the beginning of the video from Upgrade, the movie. Um, they also did that effect. That's what inspired me to kind of figure how to figure out how to do this. Um, great effect. Um, you can definitely add some kind of weird, um, different uh, angle to, to what's happening in, in the film or shot or scene, whatever it is. Um, just to add a different dimension and to kind of kind of portray that something something else is up, something's wrong. Um, it's just like in the end of that uh, upgrade movie, um, which is a great movie by the way, I recommend it. Um, but to get into this, this is how we're going to do it. So I'm going to select my footage, I'm going to use the tracker tab. If you don't have it, you can just go to window and tracker right over there. Make sure your shot is selected. I'm going to do track motion and it's going to pull this tracker out, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it onto his forehead uh, right over there like that. and. Uh, I don't even really need to resize this box. Um, actually, I'm going to first make sure I'm in the beginning of the shot. Uh, drag it back there again because I want to track his head. And then I'm just going to analyze forward. Okay, now that we've got our, our head tracked here, I'm just going to right click on here to, and make a new uh, null object. And what I'm going to do is back to this tracker over here. I'm going to just edit the target, do the null one. It's already selected that for me. I'm going to do OK and I'm going to do apply. Do OK. OK, so now you can see that the null is tracked to his head, right? And uh, but obviously you can see that the camera still hasn't done anything, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the position here and then we're going to open up the transform values over here. The transform values and uh, you see this anchor point here that's what this is on the on the screen here we want to make sure that the uh, position coordinates for this null object are also on here so there's there's two ways you can do it you can all click the stopwatch here and you can grab the pick weapon drag it to the position of the null or what you can do is you can grab the make sure you're in the beginning of the uh, composition here copy with control c the position of the null and then in the transform with the anchor point, I'm going to paste it with control V. Now you can see, I'm going to take this down even further. You can see that the camera is following the head with the anchor point, right? Um, which is cool, but you still got these black bars on the side here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to pull up the scale by pressing S. We're going to zoom in. You can zoom in how far you want, just as long as the black bars are gone. I'm going to zoom in pretty far because it kind of, accentuates the effect as well and then uh, that's pretty much it quick and easy um, there's really no other things you need to do with it yeah and a pretty simple effect can go a long way but that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed consider subscribing i am going to be making more in the future there's also definitely a lot of other tutorials on my channel you can check out but until next time remember keep smiling keep shooting